4 Dien Dien Pierre Na This depicts just depicts the tongues of a flame something like this well like uh, you get the idea Liu This character, this is not, Fang is the radical for it, but it is an ancient component that uh, is now written like this in the character. Uh, anciently, it was like that. And it just depicted a flag or a pennant. And then in this part here, originally this was two people walking together. So this yen was phonetic and the signific was here those two people have sort of been turned sideways. So here's how we write it. Dian, Hung, Pie, Hung, Je, Go, Pie, Hung, and then we go Pie, Shu, Go, that's one of the people, Pie, Na, that's the other person. Liu, to travel. Li, this is a depiction of uh, a bird getting caught in a net. So this part is the bird. The net, of course, is written like that. And uh, in this case, it's been simplified to that. And then the frame of the net is here. And that is the hand holding the net. So we'll write that all out. Dian, Hung, Hung, Je, I mean, excuse me, Shu, Je, and I think we should fill this first. Pie, Na, Shu, Shu, Hung, Je, Go, Pie, je, dien, li. So it's just phonetic in this case. Distance from yuan. We have the zhou zi pang. Zhou, to walk, that's not the origin of it, but that's what it's called, and it looks similar. It derives from foot also. And yuan, money. A dollar, this is uh, originally me meant the origin of things, where things started from. So, distance, hung, hung, pie, shu, one, go, dian, hung, je, hung, je, na, yuan, zhi, we've learned this as a measure word for animals. It means only shu. It also means only shu. Hung je hung a mouth. Dian dian with only two uh, small expressions coming out. Zhong. This is uh, it means clock, but the original meaning and it still means this is bell. So you have the metal radical. Originally, this character, which is how it's written in traditional characters too, that the uh, radical is the same, but in simplified form it's written like this. This is thought to originally be an ingot of metal, and of course the right-hand side is phonetic, jong. This um, originally meant one of these large metal cast bells, and they were enormous. Pierre hung. Hung, hung, shu, ti, shu, hung, je, hung, shu, zhong. Qi, so to ride something by straddling, you've got the horse radical on the left side, so we can see how that's a horse. On the right hand, you have da, over, K, pronounced qi, meaning marvelous, it's just phonetic. Actually, 
K here was once pronounced chow, so here it's the phonetic in chi. Hung, ja, shu, ja, wan, go, hung, hung, pie, na, hung, shu, hung, ja, hung, shu, go, chi, zi, self. Now this character usually means I, but in this case it means a nose. So for example, in the, f in the character mian, for face, you have the nose in the middle. In China, when you indicate yourself, you don't point to your f chest, you point to your, s you point to your nose. Um, so this, Indicating the dian, indicating the nose. Shu, hung zhe, hung hung, hung zi, self. Gong, actually, anciently was a depiction of four hands joined together. I don't know if it was exactly like that, but you sort of get the idea. And then uh, the combined eventually with shorthand brush strokes it became like this hung shu shu hung dian dian gong all together qi so here again we have san dian shui three drops of water <clears throat> and on the right hand qi the vapors the life force and so on. Originally, it was a depiction that went something like this, just the, the uh, movement of the life force through all things. So, qi is steam, just vapors that come from water. Dian, dian, ti, pie, hung, 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 zhe, wan, go, qi. Lu. Left hand side is a foot. And this is the character zu, as in zu cho, soccer or football, zu. So it's just slightly adapted to be the radical. The right hand side is phonetic. You've got zhi, a foot, over mouth, which uh, was used as a name place at some point and now is used in the character for road, just for the sound. Shu, hung, ja, hung, shu. Shu, hung, hung, pie, hung, pie, na. Shu, hung, ja, hung, lu. Jin. <clears throat> so we have the walking radical again, zo, zapang. I'll write that out again. We just had zu. So these are very, these two characters had similar origins. This walking radical actually, officially is cho, written as a radical, as a component of the character. The right hand side, jin, is actually a x. Um, so it was borrowed, the old metal axe, the depiction of it was borrowed for a weight because it could be used as a unit of weight. And now it's just used as phonetic in nearness. Pie, pie, hung, shu, dian, hung, ja, hung, ja, na, qin, si, C looks like the top of Yao. Yao, which anciently is thought to mean waste, uh, but originally it depicted a bird sitting on its nest and then was radically shortened. So when the sun goes into the west, the birds go to roost. And who knows, maybe that'll help you. Hung Shu. Hung, ja, 
Shu. Shu Wan. Hum. Si. Bu. Place, region, or part. This left hand side, Li, is to stand on top of Kou, mouth. Uh, this component is called po, which means to spit out. It's just phonetic here. The right hand side that looks like an ear in common speech is called uh, yo ar pong, the ear on the right hand side. It is derived from this, which means a city, which looks like a gate tower to a city. So there'd be the huge gate and the huge walls and this would be the tower. So that's sort of a depiction of it, simplified to that. So Bu would be a urban district, I suppose, at one point. Dian, Hung, uh, Dian, Dian, Hung, Shu, Hung, Je, Hung, Hung, Je, Wan, Go, Shu, Bu. Jing scenery. Originally, this meant sunlight, so it is just the sun on top of Jing as phonetic. Jing meaning capital is a similar character to this E that we just talked about, meaning city. Gao meaning tall. These are all depictions of the gate tower kind of idea. I'll try to keep it simple here. Oh, I just have two doorknobs, that doesn't work. Um, that's where Jing, Yi, and Gao all seem to derive from. So scenery, the thing the sunlight shines on, Shu, Hung, Zhe, Hung, Hung, Dian, Hung, Ko, Shu, Hung, Zhe, Hung, Shu, Go, Dian, Dian, Jing, Chuan. So this component on the left actually means boat in itself. It can mean other things like to uh, coil things, but here it means boat. Um, the th phonetic on the right hand side is actually ba on the top over ko, which uh, is means marsh. Now some people think that this is evidence of the story of Noah getting to China because you had eight people on a boat. And there were eight people on the ark. But since there is no other reference whatsoever, it's highly doubtful that it's a reference to Noah. Dian, Shu, Hung, Zhe, Go, Dian, Dian, Hung, Pierre, Hung Je Wan, Hung Pierre, Na Chuan, Nan. This is thought to be um, a stone that was hung up. So the um, uh, excuse me, a stone that was struck for the sound, like a stone chime. So it was hung up like by this. The depiction of the stone was originally enclosed, but, event but now it's written like that. And then this depicts the hand holding something and striking it. And then it was just borrowed for the sound. In China, south is the cardinal direction, not north. Hung, Shu, Shu, Hung, Zhe, Go, Dian, Dian, Hung, Hung, Shu. Ting. This is a phonetic, so the mouth shows that you're using it just as a sound. Jin, we've seen, is a depiction of the axe. Uh, in this case, Jin doesn't sound exactly like Ting, but sometime 
way in the past, maybe it did. The traditional character is very involved. I won't go into it here, uh, but I think this is an ancient simplification. Shu, hung, ja, hung, pie, pie, hung, shu, ting. Hai is composed of two parts, water, san dian shui on the left, and then mei on the right. And mei is composed of a person on the top and mu on the bottom. Mu means mother. It is derived from basically the same character as nu, which is the depiction of a person kneeling and arms folded over the chest. Um, so, mei is phonetic in high. Dian, dian, ti, pie, hung, shu, ja, hung, ja, go. In this case, you close it up before you fill it because these components cross. Dian, Dian, hung, high, zu to rent. So the radical h is millet, depiction of the plant with the heavy ear of grain bending over. The left or the right hand side is chia, which is an ancient depiction of an altar or some utensil for sacrifices, just phonetic in this case. So if we think of rent being paid in the staple grain crop, then that makes sense for rent. Pie, hung, shu go, pie, dian, shu, hung, je, hung, 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 zu. End of lesson 18.